Every year thousands of people pack up their belongings and move overseas. Some do it because of retirement, others want to start anew, some have gotten divorced, while others just want to get away. These people are known as expats. This is the story of three expats who travel overseas to fulfill a dream. But will their dream become a nightmare or will the dream be fulfilled? This is Expats Abroad, only on Keith TV. Well, we arrived in Chathambori instead of meeting her parents, so in Winnie Pooin wants me to walk down a few streets. So, what in the name of Buck Henry is going on here? It seems that everyone is looking at gemstones. Shathanburi is the place where 80% of all rubies and sapphires are cut in this world. I want a ring and if you could buy my mother a necklace she will say yes, to marriage. She is going to look at those other three Farangs who are buffalo poop and compare to you. I need a better husband than my sisters. Right, there it is. A ring for you and a necklace for your mum. Normally, I would be pissed off about spending money like this, but both pieces of jewelry were like $325, two carats of sapphires set in 18 carat gold. It was less than I thought. It is so cheap to live here. I love Thailand. Wang and I are headed over to get the utilities into our names. This way we don't have to put up with Steve's BS. Yes, sir. Everything is all set. The utilities are now in your name. This was painless, by the way. Do you want to have dinner with me? That will be 5,000 pesos only for the transfer, which includes the deposit. The meter was red and the bill due is 1,000 pesos. Did you want to pay that? The total will be 6,000 pesos only. That was easier than I thought. Okay, here is 6,000 pesos and can I have a receipt please? Okay, Mr. Steve, I'm the new owner of your building and wish to let you know I am not renewing your lease. Your business must be closed within 30 days. I have new occupants moving in and need you out, diba? What about my lease? I need to get that back. It was 50,000 pesos. When do I get it back? You must not know math too well. It was 5,000 pesos. You added a zero. You will get it back in 30 days once the lease is over with. You paid the old owners for last month so stop trying to BS me okay. I can smell Carabao Menor a mile away and I smelt it the minute you walked in. Here comes Steve now. Let's see what type of BS he has for us. Hi Steve how are you today? I just came by to give you the bill for the utilities all combined it's 5,000 pesos. I hope things are running along well with the license. At the end of the month you need to get everything settled. I will be here to guide you in all the steps. If you need help I have a great lawyer that will settle everything for you for a fee of 50,000 pesos. That's cheap and it will take around 15 days to get all the paperwork which is another 50,000 pesos. I will be here to protect my investment. So I need my 5,000 pesos for the utilities. No can do Steve. The utilities guy was here today and we paid him already. Here is the receipt if you don't believe us. By the way, the utilities are in our name now. We had a meeting of investors and voted to do it this way. And with your ownership you owe us 25 pesos. Can you pay now? You signed a contract with me. Stating that you would pay me for the utilities every month along with the lease. What games are you two playing? Don't play games with me, because what is going to happen to you at the end of the month is not going to be nice. We spoke to a lawyer and the contract is now null and void by a majority of shareholders. You don't know who you are messing with. I am still part owner of this bar and I will get mine. You owe me. I'll be back. This is not the last you've seen of me. Well I finally got all my business licenses need taken care of thanks to my friend Steve. I am now going to run down to the business license place and finally get my licenses. Yes sir, that is all you need and here is your business license. Thank you sir for everything and have a blessed day. Now I'm heading down to Sterling Silver Grocery Chain and get a booth there so I can open my business. 
Finally, after months in this country, I am going to open my business without the hassle of people ripping me off. I need to talk to Steve to make the necessary policies to ensure my employees don't steal. He's the only friend I can trust here. Is the manager in? I would like to rent a spot to put up a kiosk and sell some donuts. Just a minute sir I will call him. Thank you for meeting me. My name is Will and I would like to open a donut shop up in your fine grocery store. I have a business license already, so I'm ready to start when you are. Well sir it's not that easy. First, we need you to give us a detailed business plan on what you are going to sell how much you will sell for, your background, who mans it, and so forth. Then we need a photo of your kiosk and samples of what you are going to sell. If you sell carabao manure we can't have it in our store. We want quality products where customers will dream of coming back, plus presentation is a must. Your kiosk must be presentable to the eye. Then it goes before a board who then decides if the business can be allowed to sell into our store. We will also need samples for the meeting that will be around 15 and 5 for the first meeting. When you have this please come back and I'll be glad to meet with you. I have a package here for you to get everything ready. It was nice to meet you. Great that is going to take at least another two or three more weeks. By this time I will be out of money. At least I'm moving into the apartment Steve got me. Thank you for joining this week. Please come back next week for more exciting episodes. As always, please like and subscribe. See you next week.